Break right, tally one, one mile, level. Tally one. Two's engaged, one circle, southbound. One's again. One circle. Two fox two. Two kill Viper. Two jackal two engaged. Two pressed. Two status. Fox 2 Bug out Bug out 330 one, One's engaged, one circle, flowing south One press One is not at the low man. Shot into Jackal five two fox two. PK terminate south. Five one terminate south. Five two terminate south. Whoa, hang on you mud movers. Don't click away just yet. You're probably thinking ACM is chaos. But there's a few contracts, axioms, and techniques that can help you. Good references and examples can be hard to find. Coming in, Ice, coming in. Ice, that bogey's still behind you. I'm maneuvering for a shot. Stay with him, Mass, stay with him. Take the shot, nail him, nail him. Shit, Ice, I can't get a tone. Shoot, Maverick, I can't get him off my tail. Maverick, we're hit, we're hit again. It's okay. All systems are functioning, we're okay. Ice, on the count of three, break hard right. Three, two, one, break right! Firing! Damn it, missed! Don't let him go! Keep on him, Matt, keep on him! I got him, I got him! Here comes the shot. No, 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 not like that. So in today's video, we're going to try and provide some context, discuss a few principles the 476 covers in training, and play some tapes. Hopefully, we'll learn something together. Okay, there's a lot we could unpack with ACM. We could spend hours on this subject, and sometimes we do, but in today's video, I'm going to keep it short. We need to discuss mutual support, engaged and supporting fighter roles and contracts, the principles of out of phase and out of plane, identifying friend from foe, clear avenue of fire, offsets, valid shots, and bugging out. All of these are big topics, but I'm going to focus on what you need for ACM. When it comes to mutual support in an ACM context, we like to talk about visual, sensor, and weapons mutual support. With visual mutual support, if you're flying like this, you can't see shit, lead can't see shit, and situational awareness is trash. So get in a tactical formation. In line abreast, we get increased visual mutual support, maneuverability, and lethality. Everyone's got lookout responsibilities. So just remember, near rocks, far rocks, check lead, check six. With sensor mutual support, we've got to work with what we've got. At a Viper, I've got a radar and discrete AORs to search. In an A-10, I've got a sidewinder seeker head. Make do with what you've got. With weapons mutual support, we need to be able to help out our wingmen. If I've got sidewinders, but I'm 10 miles away, I'm of no use. That means we need to know the WES of our weapon systems and position ourselves to be ready to take prompt, valid, and safe shots of opportunity. Air combat maneuvering involves coordinated maneuvering between two fighters employing BFM to kill, defend, or separate from one or more bandits in a visual merge. Emphasis here on coordinated. Distinct roles or contracts are necessary to assure effective ACM. ACM contracts define engaged and supporting roles. Calm, Clear and concise communications are vital for effective element employment. When a threat warrants an immediate reaction for survival, calls are directive first, then descriptive. Directive calls, such as break right, jink, and extend, 
may be necessary to protect your wingman. Descriptive calls enhance the element situational awareness and help flight members to acquire the tally and perform proper BFM. The engaged fighter is the fighter that is maneuvering with respect to the bandit. If defensive, the bandit will choose who is the engaged fighter. If the bandit is maneuvering with your, respect to your plane of motion and his lift vectors on you, you're engaged. The engaged fighter's responsibilities include maneuver to kill the bandit or negate the bandit's attack in the minimal amount of time. Fly your best BFM. Maintain situational awareness on the bandit. Keep the supporting fighter informed of intentions, capabilities, and future tactical plans. The supporting fighter is the free fighter. The supporting fighter needs to first maneuver to sanitize the area around the fight through visual and electronic means. Next, be prepared to commit against any bandit that threatens the element. Lastly, maintain situational awareness to direct the egress in a safe direction. The supporting fighter responsibilities include maintain visual and strive for tally, deconflict from the engaged fighter, sanitize the area about the fight through visual and electronic means, check your own six, maneuver to avoid the fight, and gain or maintain entry parameters on the bandit. Employ ordnance if the bandit is within a WES without compromising the engaged fighter's safety. Engage other bandits that are also a factor to the element and keep the engaged fighter informed. Maintain overall situational awareness to include area orientation, fuel, and exit avenues. Direct the egress. If that seems like a lot, we will talk about this more when we break down some tapes. But now that we understand the roles and some of the responsibilities, let's talk about how we switch and assign roles. By default, flight lead will be engaged, but as the situation develops, it may be necessary to transfer the engaged role to the wingman. This can be accomplished two different ways. In the first way, the wingman identifies he is the engaged fighter when the bandit maneuvers with respect to him. Wingman calls, two's engaged, and flight lead confirms the role swap with a press call. In the second way, flight lead recognizes two is the engaged fighter by watching the bandit's plane of motion and lift vector. Flight lead assigns the role to the wingman with a two press call. Wingman confirms the role swap with a two's engaged call. Occasionally, it may be necessary, based on the bandit's maneuvering, to change the roles again. A simple press, bandit switched by the engaged fighter, can clearly and concisely communicate the change in the situation. Next, we need to talk about the principles of out of phase and out of plane. When we talk about phase, we are referring to turning direction. An in phase flow is where both the engaged and supporting fighter are turning in the same direction. This is not ideal. This type of flow makes it easier for the bandit to maintain tally on both fighters and prosecute attacks on either fighter. What we want is an out of phase flow. In an out of phase flow, the supporting fighter is turning opposite to the engaged fighter. In this graphic, we see the blue engaged fighter has elected to reverse and take the bandit one circle. This has established effective out of phase maneuvering. Let's see this on tack view. In this rear quarter set, the far or blue fighter has picked up a bandit. Directive break right comms has set the initial reaction. We see the bandit attempt to drive to the outside, but has insufficient turning room to convert to a low aspect position. The blue fighter recognizes the reversal cues, calls engaged, and takes the bandit one circle, effectively establishing out of phase flow. The supporting green fighter is focused on his best two circle game plan in order to position himself for timely weapon support. When we talk about out of plane, we are referring to the engaged fighter's plane of motion. If we assume the engaged fighter and bandit are employing proper BFM and lift vector placement, they should be in the same plane. In this first graphic, we see an in-plane fight. Not only does this create deconfliction problems, but it opens the supporting fighter up to potential shots of opportunity by the bandit. This is not ideal. In the second graphic, the supporting fighter has elected to go low. This has several benefits. Not only does it give the supporting fighter vertical turning room, which may be necessary to bring the bandit into his missile WES, but it also helps with energy and turn rate. Additionally, it provides the supporting fighter with an offset to assist in identifying friend from foe and a clear avenue of fire. While these graphics set the engaged fighter's plane of motion in the horizontal for sake of understanding, it's important to remember that the plane of motion can be in any direction and it should be communicated by the engaged fighter. So remember, as the supporting fighter, get out of plane. Let's go back to that first tack view and analyze the fight from an out of plane perspective. 
Again, we see the fighters break into the bandit with preemptive countermeasures. Notice how they are in plan here. This changes as the blue fighter calls engaged and starts a one circle game plan. If you recall from your BFM lessons, the one circle fight is a radius fight and going uphill with the fight can help with this. We see the green supporting fighter make a bid low to get out of plane. Now in retrospect, the green fighter could have been a bit more aggressive here. If the bandit decided to switch, being further out of plane could create pickup problems for the bandit. Lastly, it's important for the engaged fighter to narrate the fight and provide situational awareness. For example, engaged, one circle, climbing through 15,000, one's high, bandit's low. This comm communicates the state of the fight and helps to provide context to what the supporting fighter may be seeing. When it comes to IFF, don't rely on your ability to distinguish friend from foe based on aircraft visuals alone. In the stress of the moment and when seconds count, you need to have a process for figuring out who's who in the zoo. This is where the status call comes into play. The status call is made by the supporting fighter and is a request for a situation update. A general status call looks something like this. Two status. Two engaged, one circle, neutral, northbound, bandage low, two's high. In this clip, we see the supporting fighter with the seeker lock on one fighter and a radar lock on the other. The supporting fighter is trying to IFF the fight. The two status call it's a generic situation update of two's engaged, one circle, neutral, northbound, bandits low, two's high. While this gets the job done and we see the supporting fighter change his lock and correctly IFF, we can optimize this process. As the supporting fighter, you can optimize your status call with the question you're trying to answer based on your perspective of the fight. Generally, calls of status high-low, status nose high, nose low, status right turn, left turn, status left right and status north south are most useful obviously these calls will depend on the situation and the individual's fighter's situational awareness if we look at the tape again we see a status high low would have been ideal in this situation this simple call helps the supporting fighter know exactly what you need in order to iff the fight as a last resort a flash call can be used to add confirmation to your iff this should not be your primary or even your secondary method of IFF. If a response to a status call returns an ambiguous IFF, rephase your question with an updated status call. If updates are not an option, a flash system call such as flash flares, flash burner may be used. But remember, the bandit may be dropping preemptive flares and your wingman may be empty. Exercise extreme caution because once you've taken the shot, you can't get it back and you'll only make a bad situation worse by shooting down your wingman. That's a good segue for a clear avenue of fire. Essentially, this means you want to deconflict the flight path of your missile and ensure that you shoot the bandit and not your wingman. You can't do this if both your wingman and your bandit are in your HUD field of view. Getting out of plane, offsetting, and waiting for the right time to take the shot can help with this. If the engaged fighter is in a one circle, this can be especially difficult as the radius may be small. So either time the apex of the fight or be directive to ensure you have clear avenue of fire. Offsets may be necessary as the supporting fighter to preserve range and turning room for follow-up BFM and shots of opportunity. Offsets can aim to preserve range for missile employment, reduce closure, and increase time available for IFF. Essentially, this means don't point your nose at the fight as the supporting fighter unless you need to. If you're equipped with the hobs, you may be able to employ from the offset. Valid weapons employment can be difficult to do. While it does depend on the type of missile, target aspect, and line of sight rate, for sidewinders, try to ensure that you have three to 9,000 feet of range before taking the shot for most ACM scenarios. Lastly, let's talk about bugging out. It's important to understand the longer you stay in the fight, the more you'll lose situational awareness on the big picture. I like to refer to this as SA collapse. This is especially prevalent as the engaged fighter. So after you've ended the fight as quickly as possible, the supporting fighter who will likely have the best big picture SA should direct the bug out. This is a simple call such as Vipers bug out 090. This sets the flow direction and if done properly, reestablishes mutual support. Additionally, depending on your contracts, this will also start a short range radar search to sanitize the airspace in the direction of the flowing fighters. Once flowing in the bug out direction, the supporting fighter should help the engaged fighter with re-establishing visual. A simple call sign 
line right, three o'clock, one and a half miles, low, can help. If the flight lead is the supporting fighter and the wingman is now visual after getting the talk on, re-establish the conventional flight rolls. To do this, wingman calls to visual, press, and the flight lead confirms the roll swap with an engage call. Now that that's out of the way, I'm going to play two tack views with synced comms in real time. First, let's look at our general rear quarter set. Pay attention and try and spot any ACM errors. Trace in. Flight's on. Tally. Uh, break left. Tally one, one mile high. Viper. Okay, two's engaged. One circle, flowing north. Bandit is high, man. Bandit's high, one circle. Bandit's west, man. Two's east, man. Right side. To still engaged, offensive, one circle northbound. Buddy Spike. Two, that is. Two's engaged, one circle, neutral, northbound. Bandits low, two's high. Fox. As you can see, there were several issues with this set. Utilizing TACView and syncing our comms, we can effectively analyze and debrief the set. Where the set was not perfect, the blue fighters were eventually successful in working together to kill the bandit. Practice makes perfect, so keep shooting for perfection and try and clean up your ACM comms with every set. Now, let's look at a forward quarter set with a visual bracket. Bracket right, two. Eight miles, throttles, throttles. Two's engaged. Two press. Two's engaged, one circle. Left status, two press, left right status. Two's left, bandit slow. Two, fox two, one fox two. Terminate, west. One, two, terminate. Full three, terminate. This set was a lot better, but there's still room for improvement. And this is what makes training fun, so keep with it. Hey, if you found this video to be worth your time, please consider helping us out. All we ask for is a like, comment, or sharing the video. If you're interested in the 476, check out the links below. Thanks.